Hey everyone, welcome back. This is CC Cycle 1. This week we're reviewing memory work ideas for week 20. Can't believe we are already here. But for math this week, we are learning the circumference of a circle. And so I have here a circle. I'm just using the back side of the same piece of paper that I used for the area formula last week. And on the back, I just have circumference written on it and the formula. And we sing this to the tune of London Bridges and it sounds like this. The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi 3.14 times the radius. The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi 3.14 times the radius. And that is math. For English, we are learning a linking verb, the definition of that, and then in the following weeks, we'll also be learning the list of linking verbs. And so for the tune today, it's going to be the start of that complete tune to the sound of ants go marching. And uh, with the exception of next week, because next week we're learning to be. And so that is kind of a side part from the linking verbs. And so, all together, I'll show you this week what the following weeks will sound like, including this week's definition of a linking verb. So, a linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. And then the following weeks when we include the list, just so you have it all here together in this one first video, sounds like this. Fill, become, remain, taste, seem, appear, look, sound, stay, smell, grow, be. These are the linking verbs. And that is how English will be. And for history, we are doing Tell Me About the Mexican Revolution. So for this, we're going to do motions because the song is to La Vida Loca is the, the tune. And it's kind of fun if you get a little bit extra with the motions to kind of make it a little bit of a dance. If you want to keep it simple though, you can just use shakers because there is a soft uh, shaking sound or a faster shaking beat throughout the song that you could just do shakers if you want to. But the motions are going to be like this for this week. So tell me about the Mexican Revolution. We'll have circa 1910. And we'll do that really big because the song kind of comes out strong with that in the very beginning. So circa 1910. And then uh, during the Mexican Revolution. So this is an R. And so we're just taking two R's and we're doing a revolution. And then we have um, a P for Pancho and a V for Villa and an E for Emiliano. And then you just make a Z with your finger. That's the ASL sign for Z. So Emiliano and a Z for Zapato, Zapata. And then we're going to do Fat. So for Fat, you can either do like make an X with swords or you could use your fist, whichever works better for they, the kids can take their preference whatever works better for them and then when we say land of liberty we're going to do the sign for land land and liberty so this is the sign for liberty and those will be our motions as we sing the tune that cc provides for the mexican revolution for Latin, we have our third declension noun ending. So we're going to do it the same way that we have for all of our third declension noun endings. And we're going to break out our dog, Bingo. And Bingo uh, is named Bingo for the sake of reminding us that the tune that CC provides for this, for these third declension noun endings, is Bingo. B-I-N-G-O. And so we will sing our third declension noun endings, various E's, E-M-A, as we pass around bingo all around the room, uh, singing both of those tunes for the singular and the plural. Uh, the plural sounds like ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis. And uh, as we do that, we'll pass bingo around. So that is Latin. For timeline, we have Australia. We're going to make our fingers like kangaroos. So Australia becomes a commonwealth. Then we have the Mexican. We take three fingers, slide it down our cheek. Uh, Mexican, make two R's. And again, the sign for revolution. So Mexican revolution. Then we have World War One. This is two W's, so World War One. And 
President Wilson. So for President, we're gonna, for President Wilson, we're gonna do the sign for President, and that's just to take our hands like this and bring them out like this, showing S's. And then we have the linen, an L for linen, and a B for Bolshevik revolution in Russia. For Russia, you take your hands like this, and then you bring them down to your sides like that. And that is the Lenin and Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. Then we have U.S. Evangelist, like you're telling everyone, Evangelist Billy Graham. Graham is like this, so Billy Graham. And the next one is the Modern Period of the Arts. So that was a time of lots of individual expression. And so we had random works of arts, and so we're going to do the sign for individual. So um modern period and then for the sign for random is just to circle your hands like this so this is representing lots of different kinds of art going on and then we have the great depression and the new deal like you're dealing out cards and that is timeline this week uh we've been doing lots of motions we always do the motions for timeline but uh this week i think i'm going to start by putting timeline cards randomly under the seats and then having uh, the students pick up their timeline card and put themselves in order once we've introduced what it sounds like and uh, go through the song together as a class then we'll do that for fun so uh, just a little something extra for timeline this week for geography we are learning about the dominion of canada and for that we're learning about ontario quebec uh, new brunswick and then nova scotia and i'm going to be using the map that um I think it's Sandra Homemaker. I will link it below. This is not a great print out of it because I am running out of ink. And so, but what we'll do is we'll color coordinate all, color code all the different uh, places uh, in Canada. And then we'll go through and label them and say what they are and show where they are and color code it to the key that's provided on the bottom of that map. And that's how we will do geography and for science we are learning what are some parts of the atmosphere and so uh we are going to sing this to the star wars theme song and it sounds like this we can break out if you want to a lightsaber i know the dollar store has those my girls love them we may bring that to class for this week's uh science but it sounds like this some parts of the some parts of the atmosphere are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere the atmosphere and that is how we will sing and learn the parts of the atmosphere um if you wanted to this is something else that we might do um, since I don't have a lightsaber for everyone, we might take turns using the lightsaber as we uh, go through this tune. But you can also just move your hands out like a circle showing the different parts of the atmosphere. Um, and just go from the troposphere out to the exosphere as you're singing it. So, troposphere, stratosphere, and then you just go further and further out. Okay, uh, that is all for this week. I am not exactly sure what we're gonna do for um, presentation, or not presentation, for review yet, but I am thinking probably Jenga, uh, throwing in some of those fun, fun little blocks that we include with it. And uh, that's all for week 20. So hopefully this is helpful, and I look forward to seeing everyone for week 21. Bye.